Hi, thanks for checking out our channel here. This is just a little overview video um, about this unit. This is a, a Red Snapper Li-50 from about 2001 that we fixed for a customer. So we re repaired the board, got it going again. Um, well, this is an old unit back when Red Snapper was per had their own identity. You know, they might have been owned by Zariba people. Um, they had their own identity own identity and they were pretty darn good units back then now they're just a rebranded relabeled different colored case red zariba blitzer type unit so they're uh, you know the same old thing but these are back when they were old school units um tried and true just built like a workhorse this old school you know so um really like these old ones now if you take this if you have this old and old they made a li30 li15 li25 or whatever they made some other models too a lot of those you know almost all of them you can't get any parts for so you have to be able to fix the boards inside versus just part swapping an old new board back in there because you can't get new boards for these anymore so we fixed the board inside this one got it going again you know, customer's happy about it. You know, it's had this thing for a long time. It's been worked on multiple times. There's stickers in there from like 2004, 2006. So someone's been in there at some point in time, tinkered on it. But that was the most recent sticker and that, that was in there by whoever worked on it in the past was 2006. Uh, maybe it's been good since then. I don't know. But um, it's good to go now by us. So if you take this to your local co-op or to another repair place, and say, hey, can you fix this for me? Oh, yeah, let me take a look at it for you. And like, well, shoot, the board's bad. Or the transformer's bad, whatever. So they'll call up Zariba, Red Snapper, whoever. Say, oh, I need a board for a Li-50. He's like, well, which version do you have? I was like, well, we've got, oh, I don't know, it's an old red one, kind of rectangular shape. Oh, that's an old one, sir. Um, no, we don't make any parts for that one. That's, unfortunately, we don't support that model anymore. Um, we're going to set the, you know, throw it away and buy a new one. And those, well, the guy would tell the customers, like, hey, yeah, sorry, sir, I can we call. They don't make any parts for this thing. It's a lost cause. Sorry, you got to throw it away. And, and here's a new one for 150 bucks, A junk one, but here's a new one for you. Um, and then you find a place like me that can re repair boards uh, inside these things, typically. And we can retrofit transformers in them. That's no big deal either. But a lot of people won't do that. They want to just part swap. They take the old board out, put the new board in. Take the old transformer out, put a new transformer in. Well, they don't. They don't can't get the parts for it. They don't know what to do. They're part swappers. They're not board fixers like we are. I can't fix every board on everything, of course. But we sure give it a shot. The older they are, the easier it is typically to fix the boards because it's old school electronics. You can, you know test capacitors, test transform or transformers, you can test diodes, all that fun stuff. All the newer stuff, I never got into the newer stuff with the little um, surface mount crap. I don't, I can fix some of that stuff, but I don't deal with a lot of it because most of it you can't, you know, can't tell what it is. They've got a blacked over, so you just have to buy a new board, that sort of thing. But these were old school. So I really like them. I, I wish they still made them like this, but that ain't going to happen. Unless they make a change at the factory and do, start doing stuff differently. They're going to be the same thing they've been for the last 15 years that they are today. So, but let's plug it in here. It has a little light in the front there. It flashes. This is a 4.2 output joule unit. So a pretty good bite to it. Uh, the light, for whatever reason, doesn't show up flashing in the picture or the camera every single time, but it does flash every single time in person. This unit puts out about 6,500 volts max is what it puts out at. But at 4 point something joule, that's pretty good amount of power. Voltage and joules don't go hand in hand. Voltage just pushes the shock around the fence. The, sh the joule is what actually shocks the animal. It's like current or amperage. They, that's when you get shocked by 120 volts. Volts are just pushing that amperage, and the amperage is what you actually feel. So joules is what actually shocks you. The volts just pushes it around the fence. So we'll do a little spark jump here. Let's see if we zoom in a little bit. So if a unit's not clicking, you're not going to get a spark jumping from. It has to be able to click to have a chance at putting out the spark so if it's not clicking it's not flashing you're not going to get a spark out of it so 
Nice hot shock. Ooh. So, but yeah, they made an LI-50. I think they made, made an LI-100 maybe at one time. I don't know. But I know they made an LI-30, um, LI-15, LI-10, stuff like that. The small one, like LI-10, LI-15, those really can't be fixed. I mean, the boards, I mean, sometimes you can, but they're so cheap on the inside. And they're just, unless you turn them into something bigger and stronger, those small ones, we can try. But um, they're still old school, so they're good if we can get them going. But sometimes you're out of luck and you got to just go buy something different, something newer, I guess. And there are good ones out there still, but there's some crap ones out there too. And there's some good middle of the road not super expensive, not super cheap, but they're still good quality for the money you pay. So, but until next time, we'll see you guys later on. Remember to subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about us. Um, uh, hit that thumbs up button, all that crap people say. But we work on all brands and ages of these things. We also work at Catskills and Low Bars. Mostly Gallagher and True Test, but those are the two main brands we work on. But until next time, we'll see you guys later on until we do another video. So tell your friends about us, will ya? And we'll see you later.